The silence is nice. Okay, cool, we missed that. That's great, because Bandicam decided to turn off. I'm so pissed. I'm so pissed, you have no idea how pissed I am. Anyway, we got in the car, and I had to turn off the radio. And I don't know if we missed anything else. But, like, not much happened, and I, could, I couldn't turn the radio up. I wanted to turn the radio up, because that's, like, such a good time to, like, introduce us to some of the concepts, like politics. I know why you can't be bad. Because there's a lot riding on the fact that people still want to be with Fang at the end of the story. But, like, just don't write the story like that. And don't give me those options. Like, you're making the game. You know you know what this reminds me of? I don't know, how do I put this in like a few concise terms? This reminds me a lot of like people who make a ta tabletop RPG system and they're like, here's combat. And it's really complicated. I'm like, why is it? Well, because D&D is very complicated when it comes to combat. And it's like the only, like, be because, you know, that's how it's done. You know, that's how business is done. And I hate that. I hate it when that is the... I feel like if you're making something like this and you're already taking this big of a leap into a rather interesting and terrifying territory, you gotta make those leaps. Make it work. Like, here's the thing, right? You can stick to a standard story, to a very standard, traditional, structured narrative, and build up from there and make it work. I don't get it. I just don't get it. There's so much potential here, and it makes me so angry. It makes me a grumpy little boy who, who batters his little fists against the table going, I wish... I would, I would give everything away for Snoot Game to be the worst game, and this to get all of Snoot Game's raw artistic potential instead. Because while Snoot Game has a cute story, it's, it's a basic story. I think that if done well, this story could have something going for it. You know, reinterpretation of a disaster through the eye of a post-COVID world is a fascinating concept that we haven't seen yet compared to Jackass Becomes a Good Guy. Although, admittedly, I do like the Jackass Becomes a Good Guy story. I really do like seeing Anon become a good person, because it's, it's... Who writes a story like that? No one wants to write an asshole. No one wants to write a piece of shit like that anymore nowadays. Especially not when they're supposed to be redeemable. But, I don't know. I feel like both had their merits. One just didn't bother. You don't need to fill it. Definitely not. Look at how stiff Nas are saying that. You have something to say. Just say it already. Except you have something to say. No. No. Well, hey, hey could I run something by you? Fine. So, today, big day, class president's speech at the assembly. If these people pull off a No Man's Sky with their game, I will book a flight to their gosh darn offices and personally, well, I, I would say kiss their butts, but it, I would just shake their hands very politely and probably hand out, like, free copies. If they, if they would do that. If only because spite is the best motivator and making me look like an angry little boy who's been smite, spited is all the sweeter for it. Hell, they could probably rub it in Kavanon's face, and they'd be like, "You know what? We're, we're happy for you." Because I think Kavanon has the has the wherewithal to be like, "You know what? You did your you did your job. You made it work. You know what? You just, here you go, handshake." Because I think they got over themselves. Like I said, Snoot Game is literally criticizing the idea of making Snoot Game <laughs> in a way. In light of the whole space rock potential demise of civilization thing, my chosen theme feels off. What's the theme? Using. I'm I'm gonna point something out. Brace yourself. This year to, um, make an impact. Okay, wow. Yeah, that's, that's bad. I use it 542 times in a 1,000 word speak. I'm, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you this. How did he do that? How? I don't know if you look at generic English sentence structures, but... Assuming that he's using me and I, like he's speaking as if he's himself instead of third person, how do you make half of the words impact? Admittedly, impact is a noun. You can make impactful, so you have an adjective. You can use it as a verb. But if you made half of the words that, you, f you, you messed up, my man. That's not a good speech. The semantic saturation you get from that, th like the word won't even, would not just stop looking like a word. The word impact will just be this vague eldritch concept that lives in your brain. And I referenced that in my, um, in the thing I wrote. I, I referenced that, like, the main character's like, if I ever hear anyone say impact again, I will vomit. This man is, is inventing a new definition for the term semantic satiation. How do you do that? How do you use that word for half of the, like, there's articles in there, right? There's articles and joining words. How did you do this? You wordsmith. Each. I even had a section where I rhymed every sentence with impact. How do you do that if half of the words are impact, my man? 
That's just a poem. You're describing a poem. And I think having a poem inside your speech <laughs> is your real problem. <laughs> we have to act. Let's make this pact. Our goals can become fact. Please stop. Oh, it's as... It was a bit... It's as bad as I thought. It. No, I have to change it. Yeah, it's just too weird. Can I run some ideas by you? Please help me. <sighs> okay, pep talk time. You're gonna be fine. <laughs> we got a flash? We got a flash, Shobako. Oh, look, Nasser's in, in our inner... Inter he's, he's, he's entered a lower orbit. Impact with Nasser expected. Anyway, this is the worst flashback to get because it's just stupid puns. This looks so much better than the animated version for reasons I don't can't immediately explain. I don't know what it is, but it does look a bit better, even if it does look a lot stiffer, but it looks stiffer in a good way. Get it? The calendar has number days on it. Ha ha ho ho. Up dino. <laughs> I mean, admittedly, that is where Updog comes from. Like, what's Updog? Well, no, it's what's Updog, right? Uh. Also, the fact that they hang out at school like this kind of, on some level, rubs me the wrong way. Like, isn't school the one place you try to avoid your siblings? Because it's like, I already deal with you at home all the time. I don't want to see you at school. Fang practice downstairs. I'm, I will give him this much. This is a good one. Of all the puns, at least this is one that I didn't see coming. And it's pretty cute. <laughs> I do wonder how they did that with the mouth. Like, the mouth is open, and it's transparent to the other side. Like, do they just use a transparent texture or something? Because that's pretty... looks all right, all things considered. Also, uh, pointing out, Fang got the hair makeover... Um, if you were paying attention, be after summer break? Which means that this is all happening in a really short pair of time. Yes. Uh, in Snoot Game, I think they're a lot closer in age. Because I think Nasser also graduates. Or he skipped a year. Who, who even knows at that point? But yeah. No one even listens to those speeches anyway. Nope. Seriously, please. You're so comfortable on stage, and I don't know how you do it. And I want to be that way. Help him out, buddy. Okay, here's what I'd suggest. You've got a... Everyone needs a little bit of a, of a good laugh. Let, no, no, they need sincerity. They can get laughs from memes. Let people in a bit. What if you just told the truth? How are you feeling about all of this? It's not about me. Like, it's really impressive how the mouth works. Because with, with Naomi, we noticed that the mouth doesn't move, the, the jaw doesn't move properly. But with, with this one, like from the side, actually, they did a pretty good job on Help. it. I'm supposed to speak for the student body? I would prefer if their mouths moved a bit more. There's something about giant japping jaws that just gets me. This is kind of, it all looks a little goofy, but it also has a little bit of charm, you know? It has a little bit of character. And you are. And you're better at doing that than you think. But let's say people are feeling as confused as you are. Coming in as if you know everything would be the worst thing you could do. Yeah, just set them up for failure. Thank you. You give pretty good advice sometimes. Sometimes. Wow, I have never been to school this early. Ten eight, we went to- You mean on time. <laughs> uh, well, good luck today. Thanks. And you'll be there. I'll just focus on you and the audience. <laughs> yeah. Assembly? I can't remember the last time I actually went to that. See? It'll be a fun new thing for you. Plus, you'll get all the hot intel on Senior Picture Day. Woohoo! These do not sound like siblings who have, like... This, these do not sound like siblings who have conflicting interests and characteristics and are just bouncing off each other. This just sounds like two people who are making do in a work relationship. <laughs> in a weird way. That's the voice act for you. Oh, we got some more we got some more things going on. Oh, we got a bunch of stuff here. Parents, tonight is back to school night. Entrance 4, 8 p.m. What is that? Like, introduction or something? Hmm. What is all this? Have you tried eating it? What the fuck is wrong with you? 
How do I get my mom? How do I get my mom to stop keeping my baby extra on top of the bookshelf in the living room? What if a boy comes over? Oh my god! Eat it! Eat the eggshell! It'd be funny if Destro's one of the species that does that. I have no idea if Fang is a redhead in uh, the other one. But considering that Lucy never actually seems to do anything with it, and I think her mother has, like, pretty white hair, right? I think it's safe to say that Lucy probably is, in fact, a, a silver hair. Which is a bit weird. A little little, a little strange, but I, I, I can live with it. Anon's bold, <laughs> after all. Uh, Fang parents, let's see. No, no, Lucy's blonde. Pretty, pretty light blonde. Not platinum blonde, I don't know, but definitely noticeable. Future of her sets? Like, future, future Fang would probably not have the hair dyes going on. So, Fang is probably... Might actually be... Huh. Man, I really do like the D-ending outfit that Fang's got going on. It's really nice. Anyway, let's move on. I Look at me. I've been able to keep myself under control for a little bit. I do wonder, like, Volcano High should have an icon, right? Oh, oh I love this scene. Look at this. What are you she doing here? So many characters. You being up this early feels... wrong. The implication that Fang does not show up to school on time is weird, and it gets weirder, very weirder, uh, considering it's 10 a.m. But maybe that's just my perspective. I don't know. Gotta say, a, th a small detail, but I want to say I do like that the heads are all in slightly different orientations on this. Like, Reed's snoot is emphasized, Fang's is a bit more downplayed, Nasser's also a bit downplayed. But they're looking in different directions, and Stella's got a headshot. Uh, Rosa's even looking, like, away. A nice variety of, like, facial shots. Just, just good. Wait, blink twice if you're a mimic. That's not how mimics work. <laughs> new year, new me. Okay, but if you join debate club or something, I'm getting you some help. Yeah, then we gotta talk to our bro. Mm, Ugh. Fair. Ugh. Also, I think it is a bit loud. I'm gonna turn down just a smidge, just a smidge. So that better, uh, easier to hear. Because we're here for me, right? Look at all these cute characters I'm okay. gonna- Okay, oh, okay, everybody. Uh, Lots of assembly energy happening right now. What the fuck are you talking I about? I like it. Oh, are they still doing that? <sighs> I don't know. The whole apocalypse thing really puts talking about Pizza Fridays in a different light. Get it, trucks, because I think they're called vans? The shoes? Hmm. I was just gonna go chill on the roof. You are obsessed with going up there. You're above and inside, on the outside. Okay, okay, L back up. I think that Reed not being a pothead really kind of kills what you could do with Reed here. We could start this off with, I stopped, qu I quit smoking this, this summer. Like, I put in all the work and I quit smoking this summer of the weed. I only smoke tobacco. And then Reed is, shows up and he's back to pot because of the whole apocalypse thing. He's using it to medicate himself. Would have been a nice element. Would have been a nice element to just have Reed be like, to, to go back to being a stoner, but out of medication. Like, he's not even doing it for fun or because he likes doing it. It's like he needs it to stay sane throughout the year. That'd be a cute, it's a instant, instant character drama. Because Fang is like, ah, Reed, stop. You're bringing me back to the old ways, to the old habits. And Trish is like, I thought you quit. Like, ugh, everything stinks now. Because at least with tobacco, like, you smoked every once in a while, like, away. Blech. I don't know. Like, I get it. They're trying to show a more cohesive friend group who makes it through the apocalypse. I don't know if that's really something you have to do. Like, that, does that make good story writing is the question. Does it make a good story? It's awesome. It is awesome, though. When well, you think about it. If you don't, it's not that awesome. Like, this scrolling thing barely comes up. <laughs> and it's even weirder because you can't go back and forth in actual conversation. Which creates this weird double standard. It's just goofy. That's all I'm saying. I'm European and I think 10 a.m. Um, is weird. This is great news! LJ thinks we have talent. <laughs> Look at Trish! Gosh, you think she could write a nice text for once? I actually like that pose. It's um, pretty good. Uh... What should I say back? I mean, that will be there? Wait, there's a gif I think is perfect. Ah, uh, not helpful. Be grateful. Be confident. I think, I think LJ is the kind of person who appreciates a little bit of politeness. 
Yeah! Everyone likes it if you're nice. Es especially if you're not ass-kissing about it. Just nice. I think this means she's rooting for us? We're gonna get in? We still don't know what or they look like. she's telling us not to get our hopes up. Wow, Downer. She wouldn't bother. No way. She wouldn't bother with that. <sighs> Emergency band meeting. We need a plan for the audition. Where did you get the showcase is huge. So, meeting on the roof? Oh my gosh, get over the roof. Perfect, let's go. Wait a minute, don't we have like a week till the audition? Exactly. We discussed this you yesterday. You love the view up there. Literally discussed this yesterday. Where are they getting the time for this? Is it lunch hour? If it's lunch hour, shouldn't they be doing a conventional band meeting? <laughs> She's so hicky. Oh, you and me, Trish. You and me. Just the two of us. Look at this cute picture, though. They're so cute. Ah. Wow. Yeah, this is pretty great. I mean, it's a cool roof. You got plants. You got a greenhouse. Maybe a smoker's cabin. I don't know. Right? Peaceful. And no suicide fencing. <laughs> no, thanks. I quit. My voice. Anyway, the bad news. About the giant rock that's gonna kill us all? Yeah. We heard. We need new songs for the audition. Seriously though, I got like no sleep thanks to the news. What if it's real? I mean, it's probably, definitely, real. So, like, it could be just as bad as people are saying. So, I, I, I have a tiny problem with this. The only thing we got is, hey, this rock has like an itty bitty baby chance of showing up and it just showed up on our radar. It's all the way out there. And they're putting it on the on the on like the actual like national news and everyone is I don't know. Like Reed seems so chill. Why don't we build up that idea first? Like, hey, Reed's got a little bit of a worry word about him. And and Trish is consumed by her future. And then we get into like this idea that they would be sensitive to this while Fang is not, because Fang is oh it, they drop it in like day one and they start off with it. When it's like something that should be introduced after we know the character's good enough that we're like, oh no, I care about you poor little babies and I know how you're going to respond to it a little bit. And then they hit you with those twists where they act a little different. Or so, I don't know. Just, just some... They never even tell us if we were all toast. Which is what I'm doing in my thing where it takes them until December, until January to announce it because that way you have a little bit of time to fuck around with things. And then when the asteroid does show up in January, they've already done a lot of research and it's like normal people with their normal telescopes have started picking it up because at that point it feels more like they're holding something back and it might be a bigger threat and people have more of a reason to immediately get worried even if they normally wouldn't be. Right? What if everything were... It doesn't have to be a conspiracy. It just needs to have like a more immediate thing than everyone is being a little baby. The roof will never be the same after Snoot Game. I know ending A. And also the the, the, the door getting thrown through the gosh darn fencing. But <laughs> roofs will never be the same. Doing is for nothing. I just spent hours on homework when I could have been, I don't know, some fun bucket list thing. If this was a well-written character, she would have probably thought something up immediately. The band is that thing. Exactly. That's what we're doing. And we can still win Battle of the Bands, asteroid or not. Really? Should we even practice at a time like this? Why is Trish saying this? The band was her idea, for one. And two, why is Trish like, hey, this fun thing we do where we all hang out together? Why, why don't we stop doing that? Isn't band practice something you like doing, Trish? Is it a job for you already? Like, how about you cut down on that stupid project you got going with Rosa? Instead, I don't know. Or should we throw off the shackles of capitalism? Like making music, a Trish! Of freedom and hedonistic self-indulgence! By making music, Trish. Hell yeah, Trish. Let's do the music thing, thanks. Which, again, is why we're up here. Again, the heights of the characters, their dimensions are a little screwy. I don't know what it is, but every single time I see him in a different pose from a different angle, my brain goes, they're different now. These people have transmorgified. To talk about the songs. So that'd be, what, three new ones? That's a lot. That's a lot, dude. That's a lot. It's a lot. I have this project with Rosa and a test already happening in calculus. How? Plus baby it's, it's been like a day and maybe two periods. How are you already having tests in calculus? Oh, you probably have one of those teachers who hate your guts and wants you to make you feel miserable and hate math. Getting again and my sister's birthday. Be sympathetic. Like, show a little love. They need it. 
Yeah, it's true. You're you're dealing with a lot. Ooh. Let's just play an old song in like a new way. Ugh, they're so embarrassing. Wow. Okay. Sorry. Yikes. They are though. Rude. <laughs> we never hear no. them. But... No, I didn't mean it like that. I just want to write about bigger things now. Our old stuff is about big things. But you could change some of it, I guess. Works for me. Let us know when you're done. Well, maybe we can all pick one at lunch. Sure, sure. Look at how high up those go. pants are. To my locker, but in a shady way. Every single time, Trish slides out of a conversation. No, no care. Trish just doesn't want to be in any of these conversations. Just gone. I have a terrible secret today. Doesn't specify, just leaves. Oh boy. Is that weird? Was I weird with Trish just now? Like, weird weird? Yeah, kind of. Uh, are you okay? You've come into this year kind of intent. You use weird a lot, but I'll give you this much. You kind of want to have a stable vocabulary for characters that are in a stable environment, because that makes sense that they would talk like that, because they got, they got certain canon phrases. That's with the band stuff. What's up? <sighs> Summer kind of sucked. I don't know. Summer sucked. I was trapped here with my family. They don't take me seriously like anything. Missing words, but two, I never saw this choice taken, I think. And this is the stuff I was talking about, building up that friction. Music, the band, my name. None of it is worthy of respect to them, I guess. How is this missable? Or at least acknowledging that it's important to me. The band is important. Because the band is the one thing Why you have. Why did she have to just leave? I said it was an emergency. You did? And it is. To you. Thanks, Reed. Oh, I don't know what choice to take, though. So I was... Exactly! Yeah, and I'm in the band, so therefore... Oh, that's not how I interpreted band that. emergency. Yeah, but it is weird that Trish is, like, not interested in the band. I bet this would be a good spot to be if it hits. The asteroid? Definitely. It's got a nice view! Yeah. Might as well have an incredible view of the end. It's weird how everyone's acting like nothing is different. Because literally nothing really happened. Like, to me, everything feels different now. Why are you the one in a million guy? It's just a maybe? It's not even a maybe. It's like a one in a million at this point. Like, I don't get it. Like, at least be like, the, the object has like a 50% chance of hitting maybe. And it feels too early. It, it just... Uh, you gotta hammer it home. Don't be so subtle. Just fucking hit me with the text. Yeah, I don't know. Like, if it's a story about people blowing up something that's not going to happen, then just focus on that idea, but don't path-ass it when it's not the point. It's like once something may or may not happen, you can't stop thinking about it. And that's like the rest of my life all of a sudden. We're going on tour with the band. You, me, Trish, a van with our name on the side. Nothing has changed. I'd like to point out that in between all this, going on tour with a band sounds exhausting. You're... Either finding places to stay throughout your journey, you should pay for it and everything, or you're sleeping in the van. Reed has to constantly drive and do band performance and like do drum performances. And like Trish is making friends with someone else and you have like your own friends back home. Like going on a tour sounds like a massive drain if you're not 100% invested in it. The van would be pretty sick. We're setting things up here, by the way, for the future. Don't worry. This is actually important so, if you think about it. You know how we all play legends and lore, right? Just yesterday, we talked to Reed about joining his game, and he had a character ready for us. An IDM? Yeah, I'm joining this weekend, right? Yeah, this happened yesterday! Yes. Anyway, I've been playing- Like, if you- If this was better written, you, you have a better flow into it. Like, they, he would say, remember that thing we talked about yesterday, because they talked about it yesterday, and that's how people talk. People mention, hey, remember this prior conversation we had recently enough that both of us should remember it, instead of, hey, remember this thing I'm doing that we, I brought up yesterday, and it's kind of weird that I'm, like, bringing it up as a tertiary topic? Ugh. Like, it wasn't even a conversation that happened around Fang. Fang involved themselves in the conversation and agreed to something. So, Reed, you are smoking pot and your brain is dying. LNL since I was like eight years old. 
I know the game better than anyone in this whole school. It sucks when the people you want to share it with aren't as interested. So, I get it, but I don't know if a lot of other people do. By the way, good nugget of wisdom. I'll give Reed this much. That's a good nugget of wisdom. That's a fair and honest open sentiment. I don't know why it's in the first act, because this feels like something you want to put in the second act, or the third, like put it closer to when it's dramatically relevant, instead of like, we haven't even identified the f we. So the A plot right now, for most people who are looking, is been Battle of the Bands and the, and the audition. It's slowly shifting to, oh, Trish doesn't seem to be as involved. Why are we already talking about the resolution of other people have problems too and you need to learn some perspective before we've even established that Trish is that upset about this? Like, it's a little early for this revelation. Like, Principal Spears says this to Anon because he knows that Anon's a little fucking shit. And we already know that Anon's a little fucking shit. So we're already against Anon. So we already want him to be a better person. So him bringing that up early is just a nice echo for the mind. But here, it's only just started to really creep in that maybe Trish isn't 100% on board with this? It's a little early for your big revelation heartfelt moment. It makes sense, but... Mm. Like, I get it. If you want to be a realistic writer, go ahead. But realistic writing doesn't necessarily result in something that dramatically snaps and has that punchiness to it. Like, if Reed is confrontationally evasive, then shouldn't he put this up when it's already dire enough that he should really provide some context? I don't know. Mm. Well, we're not saved by this bell. Sorry to tell you, buddy. <laughs>